morning. Hope you're doing well. Last night, I was tasked or asked if I could make a pair of Japanese Gita shoes. First of all, I didn't know what a Japanese Gita shoe was. I had a rough idea, I, you know. So I went online and searched it and seen, oh, I know what that is. Okay, it's the wooden shoe that has those little bars that run underneath it. So I thought, I guess I can make it. So I thought today I was going to go to the, um, buy a piece of wood and make it like I, I found a video on how they do it traditionally in, um, in um, Japan but I didn't really like the way they did it because I feel out of one piece of wood you could break it so I thought how could you make it stronger so I have an idea and I took up the challenge so I'm gonna have a go so I went in my workshop I have a box full of scrap wood and I found this so that's what I'm going to make it out of. And then I, I told you the other day, I bought the um, the graphite pad that goes underneath this and the, the backing. I had to buy a new one. This is a couple years old now, maybe like four years old actually. So I just played with one piece of wood and it's work this is working fine now. So I'm going to sand all that up and then I got the measurements already. So I'm going to um, have a go. So keep watching. So you might ask yourself, why does somebody want a pair of Japanese shoes? Well, I have a friend who has a friend who's in a theater group at a university and they, uh, they got some kind of party or something. Sorry about the wind. They got some kind of party or something and they got to dress up or there's a theater or something they're dressing up and they have a, like a kimono or whatever they're called, I don't know all the names but they need the shoes, they tried to buy them but can't find them so they said would I make, try to make them I said yes So what I did is I went online, I asked for the lady's shoe size, so I went online and said, okay, what are the dimensions of this shoe size? Shoe size? I got the dimensions and then studied the, the Gita shoe and it seems like it's uh, traditionally it's bigger than the foot, there's a part of the, part of the dress is that it's actually uh, you can see it. So I, just, I finally come to the conclusion of um, this, what it's going to look like in its, in its uh, shape and size. Okay? And this is the part I like. Uh, Mr. Anal, I love this part. part. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is me measure these pieces of wood to 12 centimeters, T-square it, so I got it straight, and then cut it off. So the next project is to sand a little bit more, and then screw and glue those little one inch battens to underneath. So what I did what I did is I had these clamped together like that and made the sides all exactly the same size and they're all sanded down now. Nice and smooth all the way around. I picked out which is going to be the top. I'm just going to sand the faces a little bit more on here. I can, I can, I have a hand sander, I could use a hand sander, but I can use here just as well. Nice and 
smooth. I'm going to use this as the top, maybe by where the toe goes, so you can see this on the side, but I'm going to round those edges off some. So what I've been doing, measuring up where the material is going to go through, because it's actually like a material that that's going to go through this. So I'm going to drill the holes now, and then I can on the back I can start fitting the, the pieces of wood. So it's like a flip-flop, but with wood. <laughs> The holes and the lines ready to put the um, the, the battens underneath. <coughs> but I just found out something. I have to keep stopping and researching, stopping and researching. I just found out that these shoes are actually based on a sushi board. The board that they used to cut everything on was what they, the shoe was designed off of, or the the shoe was designed off the sushi board. I'm like, dude, really? But I keep researching as I go to sort of learn that what to do and what dimensions, but very interesting. So now I'm going to drill these pieces of wood, the little battens, and uh, glue them and secure them to the back. So these are the bits of wood, and then I secure them on here like that. You can see where the foot goes. The stairs one foot, the, the middle of the big toe, and then like a normal flip-flop that's how they go on but well, you can see how they call it a sushi board crazy huh so what I would do now is this is all on but I just basically drill the hole countersink the hole put some wood glue in and then screwed it in nice and tight I'm just gonna let them sit I'll let it sit for a while while I do the other one Change the grit to 80 grit, and it's a new one too, so it's really uh, keep your fingers away, also chew it up too. I made the shoes. I can't finish them right now because the, the varnish is still, it's dry but not a thousand percent dry. So I want to leave it alone, give it a couple hours and then um, put the um, strap on. So I've got it ready and I, I, I have an idea how to do it. So just got to do it. But I got to uh, let it dry. Let me show you what I've done so far. So there's the shoe. You can see the whole, like a flip-flop strap on it. In my opinion, they look quite smart. And this is what I come up with. I got some string here. I bought some hose to fix my um, car windscreen washers, but it was too small. It is actually a hose for a fish tank, which is perfect. So I threaded some, I got some pretty big string and I doubled it over, threaded it through this little piece. This is a part that goes through your big toe and your not so big toe. <laughs> and then this will be the part, so this can be fed into there, like so. And then these pieces here somehow will probably do something similar in those two holes. So you'll have like a flip-flop but on a Japanese shoe. And then I got Then I got, I got this little piece of, I don't know what it is, like this thin rubber. It, it was the uh, the backing to the to the graphite on the big sander. So I thought, cut this, and then I've got a little pack of um, what is it, contacts adhesive. So put that on here, 
and glue it to the bottom of here so there's less likely chance of uh, slipping. Okay, so this is the shoes done. They've been delivered. It turned out quite nice and everybody likes them. So guys, I'm going to sign off. Look after yourselves. All the very best. Buckets of blessings. There was our peace, joy, and kindness. Good night.